Hi, this is Marc Ganoje. I'm a candidate for Vancouver School Board trustee in the upcoming 2018 October 20th election. And today I'm at uh, Henry Hudson's Elementary in Kitsilano. Henry Hudson, as you can see, is a gorgeous school. Uh, it's one of the oldest schools in Vancouver. It was built, I believe, in the early 20th century, and if I remember correctly. And um, the, the style, as you can tell, is, is that style of school, which is highly susceptible to earthquake risk. And this is a problem, of course, for uh, 16 schools in Vancouver. This is a ra an H1 rated uh, earthquake risk or seismic risk school, which is the highest level of risk in case of, a, of a, uh, an earthquake disaster in Vancouver. The expectation of a school like this would be of serious and catastrophic damage and a um, significant loss of life. So this, this school, of course, really, really needs to be updated. And there are 16 of these in the Vancouver area, I believe, if I have my numbers right. And, um, and it's, a, it's a heartbreaking um, um, paradox. On the one hand, it's a beautiful school, but it's very expensive to repair. But on the other hand, um, we, uh, we have room on the field, like over there in this case, for building in, in place another school. And this is, of course, the, uh, the, the kind of decisions that uh, school boards have to make when they allocate funds, which is, do we preserve our history when we have heritage buildings like this that really deserve and that people would like to see uh, maintained? Or do we uh, cut our losses and build a new school adjacent and then tear this one down? Of course, uh, the parents love their school. They tell me that it has uh, beautiful hallways, an enormous amount of light. They compare to other schools in the area that are much darker and less, uh, less welcoming, and they would like to see the school kept. But at the same time, of course, it's important to remember that these schools are very, very expensive to retrofit. If you can imagine, there's a loss of use for quite some time as we would tear this down internally without hurting the exterior, but there's also simply the fact that it's so expensive to retrofit brick buildings to make them safe for earthquakes and we would lose a significant amount of space to the exercise. Uh, Henry Hudson is also actually a, a school that's had a number of fights in the past. Uh, if you see in the background over there, there's a, uh, there's a playground. Let's see if I can do it. Over here is a, a field and this field is, is fascinating. I was here during my campaign in 2017, uh, the campaign where I ran in this neighborhood for, for um, uh, MLA in the general election. And while uh, parents from the school were showing me uh, the, the, the school, the field, a flooded field over there that they told me was permanently flooded, a seagull came down, swooped in, and caught an amphibian in front of us and took its dinner away. This was a school that had a drainage problem on its field that was so bad that for years the kids couldn't go out there without wearing special equipment because of the state of the facilities. We have to prioritize taking care of our facilities and this is something that if I'm elected trustee, I will make sure that is number one on our, on our list of priorities. All of our students deserve to work, to, to study and to learn in schools that are fit for use and that are safe, have you know, earthquake mediation remediation done, or are replaced by safe schools, and all students have the right to be outside in a safe environment where they're not going to be playing in puddles up to their knees, which was the case in this school. Believe it or not, there were at one, there was at one time more than eight inches of water on that field every day in the rainy season and parents would refuse to let their kids play in the, in the mud. The lake that was out there was approximately the qu a quarter of the size of a soccer field. Unbelievable that we would allow this to happen in Vancouver. So I'm pleased to see that uh, over the summer drainage was put in and after the rains that we had a few days ago, there's no sign of water on the field. This is an excellent outcome. But nonetheless, today in the school, the kids are still facing an earthquake risk that we're all very, very mindful about. And school trustees need to prioritize this by working with the province. It's very, very important. Every child has the right to learn in a safe and inclusive environment where 
we know that there are going to be no problems and everything is fine. That's the contract between parents and the school board in the province. I'm Morgan Auger, school trustee candidate in the 2018 uh, Vancouver municipal election. Don't forget to vote on t October 20. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye.